using seller financing as equity injection for the SBA 7A business acquisition loan. We're gonna cover two scenarios. The first one is two year standby option. This can be used for the entire 10% equity injection. No payments made for the first 24 months. The seller's note cannot include a balloon payment. Interest can accrue during the standby, however. So the interest can accrue during the period. So example would be full standby for the first 24 months and then P&I payments for the next eight years. The next scenario is an interest only option. This could be used for up to 7.5% of the 10% equity injection needed. No payments made for 24 months. Seller note cannot include a balloon payment. Historic cash flow needed to support the payments. So what does this all mean? So basically, when the SBA guidelines changed, they're saying now that if you were to get the seller to seller finance the 10% equity injection on full standby, that they could finance the 10% as long as there's no payments made for the first 24 months and then it can go uh, P&I, principal and interest, for the remaining eight years if it was a 10-year note. Now, if the seller wanted to have some form of payments on that 10% equity injection, they couldn't do the full 10% equity injection. They could do as much as 7.5% of the needed 10% equity injection. That would, those payments could be made interest only payments for the first 24 months. And then the remaining eight years after the first 24 months would, would be amortized uh, principal and interest payments. So you could do the two, two years interest only, and then the remaining eight years would be a principal and interest payment. But at the end of the day, the banks all still use what's called prudent lending. So a lot of times these guidelines sound great, but the reality of it is, is not many of these deals are gonna get, get through with no buyer equity injection in the deal. So just keep that in mind. But you can be extremely creative with these type of loans, as you can see. So the guidelines do allow for it from a, from a global SBA perspective, but each bank has their own lending guidelines. They overlay the SBA guidelines. So it's bank to bank. So you could go to one bank, and they could say, we need a 20% equity injection on this deal. Another bank would say, we could do 90% and we're okay with a 5% seller carry on full standby, but we still want you to come in with the 5%, even though the overlying guidelines say you could do as high as you know, zero buyer equity injection. So just wanted to explain, it is possible. There are banks that are probably doing them. I have not closed one with no buyer injection. Now I've had buyers that brought in uh, partners that own less than 20% of the entity and they injected, they were investor partners, they injected the equity, the 5% equity injection. Um, I've seen 2.5% equity injection. So it is possible. I have not yet seen somebody do a deal with none of their own injection or a investor partner in the deal. I do have, however, believe it can be done. And I think those deals that are getting done are strong business acquisition. So the cash flow from the business is extremely strong and the borrower is probably strong in other compensating factors. Maybe they have additional collateral, they have a lot of equity, uh, they're well to do. So anyways, thought I'd give you this short uh, episode on seller financing when using for the equity injection. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you on the next one. Meet Bo Eckstein, the driving force behind Business Ownership Coach, unlocking the path to business ownership. Visit www.businessownershipcoach.com. Thrive with Business Ownership Coach. Hey guys, Bo Eckstein here. If you enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe to this channel. We talk all things financing. I've been in the lending industry for over 20 years, and I'm happy to answer your questions and provide great content.